Hi guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, do I have enough light in here? Just a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can't open up my. Yeah, let's do it naturally. Cool. I usually have two two um, lamps going in my room, but I just opened up my window today, and I think that's gonna be enough light. Hopefully, I don't put a weird glare on things. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Okay, so when we left off last time, I had just uh, done this collage piece here, which is um, collage, uh, collage bits and paint, different paint techniques. Um, if you missed that video, go back to the two videos before this, and it'll show you how we got to this point. Now, I'm going to do this. We're going to um, color this girl, and um, this is um, a girl that I drew out a long time ago, well, like last year, but... I thought she would look so cute with um, deer antlers, and so I went ahead and added antlers to her. So I'm going to paint her out. I think she turned out really, really pretty. And what this, and so, and after we after we paint her out, then I will uh, make a copy of her, make it a little bit smaller, like a five by five. What am I gonna do? Five by seven size, and that'll shrink her down enough to put her in in this uh, mixed media background. So it'll be like she's in like her own little fantasy world. So I made this kind of like a winter scene, as you can see. And these are going to be the front of my Christmas cards for my friends. So I think it looks very wintry and very Christmassy. And she looks very wintry and Christmassy, I think, with these with the deer antlers. So I think that's going to look really, really pretty for my Christmas cards. So that's what we're going for. Okay, so let me remove this since we already finished this. And um, remember I had said I had a few more things to finish up. I went ahead and put the planets on. I finished that up. Um, I put more snow on all of the windows. Um, I finished up the whole water feature. Really, it's a, everything's really a snow feature more than water. Well, this is a water feature because it goes into the water. This is snow on top of here on these uh, buildings. Um, there might have been a few other things I did since that, but there wasn't too much more left. Okay, and I did splatter more white splatters, so it looks like there's more snow just everywhere. Okay, so let me take this away. And then we have her back. Okay, so um, I drew her out. I put her in my um, computer, and then I printed her out onto watercolor paper. So if you're wondering what I'm going to use for her, I'm using watercolor paper. We're going to do her face first. Okay. So I'm going to be nice and close. Okay. And excuse me, I don't have anything prepped as far as grabbing my supplies. <laughs> I usually do, though. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, just a second. Well, I may be sorry about that because i got to mix some color up. All right, you guys, if you don't mind waiting a second, just fast forward if you do. I've got a little bit of mixing to do. What I'm using is I'm using um, Jane Davenport's inks. I use that for my skin tone. But you have to add a little water to it, and I didn't realize I was out. So I'll show you in a second what I'm using. I am using this stuff right here. Um, it's called Tinsel is the color by Jane Davenport, and I love this for skin color. You can go from the lightest skin tone to the to a nice dark woman of color skin tone um, with that. So it depends on how many layers you put put on, and that determines the darkness of the skin tone. You don't just have to use it for skin tones. I just really love it for skin tones. Just a second, I'm looking for a brush that I want to use. I mean, look, I'm looking at my new mermaid paint brushes, trying to find the right one. If I can, maybe I can't. All right, I'm going to stop looking for my mermaid paint brushes right now. Already kind of wasted enough time. Okay, let me also just put a little more water. But I like to add water to it. I don't like to use it <coughs> full strength. Um... It looks better if you put on layers. If you make it, if you put it on just straight out of the bottle, it gets, it gets, um, what do you call it? It gets like, um, streaky. 
So that's why I don't like to use it right out of the bottle. And because um, you would think, well, you just use it straight out of the bottle because it, it'll be deeper. But it um, it gets real streaky and it looks better if you want to go darker just to keep going over like, you know, two or three, four layers, depending on how dark you want the skin tone. So I've actually just now just put that second layer on. Okay, I'm going to let that rest for a second. I'm going to go down to her, the skin here. Okay, you guys aren't seeing it right now, so I'm off camera, I know. But I'm going to go down to her skin, like her neck. And um, I can come back out just so I can show you guys so I won't be off camera the whole time. Just a second, I'm coming. We'll come back. We'll, we'll we'll go back in in just a second, just so you can see the whole thing. Because I like to be nice and close um, when we do the face. Because it's a lot of fine detail work on the face, so it's good for sure to be nice and tight for that. But for this skin tone thing, we don't need to be in tight. You can see it from a distance. Okay, so that's one layer there on both of those. I'm going to put a second layer. Come right on down. And I just went over her strap, which I didn't want to do. But that's okay. I can quickly lighten that up by just going like this with the water. Just lifting it out. There we go. We lifted it off. No problem. Okay. Now we're going to go over a third time with the color. Because I do want it to be a deeper skin tone. I'm being a little careful there because that little strap right there is going to be like a light light pink I think maybe it'll be a, like a robin's egg blue because her hair is going to be pink so maybe not and we'll see how far we get this may be a two-parter I'm going to go over her face just one more time this may be a two uh, a two-parter for, to color this girl because we're literally going to go for an hour or maybe I'll just do her skin on and her face and all that on camera and I'll do her hair off camera we'll see we'll see how it goes what I can get done in an hour I try not to go too much over an hour because you know the videos get kind of long even an hour is long so Try not to go too much over an hour. Okay. Look at that beautiful skin tone. Isn't that gorgeous and how beautiful it goes on? Okay, I'm going to um, dry this really quickly. So just a second. Let me plug my... I'm trying to look for a plug in. I got to plug in my... Oh, it is plugged in. I'm just going to plug in my dryer, but it's plugged in. Okay. I think if I want to, 
Yeah, I like that. It looks like a little highlight right there, so we'll leave it. Oh, actually, there's a little splotch there, too. All right, just a minute. Let me go back over. Not really sure why those little splotches are there. Sorry about that, you guys. Just, I'm taping on my phone, so... Just go ahead and hit this real quick too since I can. Okay. Let's see how that works out. All right, let me try to blow dry again. Okay, I did, I think, maybe I did five, end up doing five coats. I felt like she was getting a little splotchy. So I'm just going over some things quickly. But I just felt like she was getting a little too splotchy. So hopefully that's it right there. Do you guys see how she's getting really splotchy? This is really weird. I don't normally have this issue. I might have, when I just hurried up and mixed it, I might have mixed it a little bit dark. Remember I told you if you don't mix it up light enough that it um, gets splotchy? And I think that might have happened. All right, we'll see if we can fix this. You know what have to happen on camera? Always, always. But you know what's good about this is when I show you guys things like this on camera, it's good because then um, if you have this problem, you know how to fix it. So what I did is I just, this is the ink right here. I put, I put the straight ink in here. I'm adding water. So I added a bunch of water to it. And um, I'm hoping that just going over this a little bit fixes things. It's a lot lighter, the one I'm doing over it now. I'm not doing it so dark. Let's see if this doesn't fix it going over the whole thing. I, I like the way this was already done over here, but it's okay. I'm not trying to get perfection. I'm just trying to get good enough. because we're gonna shade everything too, so. All right, let's see how this works out.
Okay, so what I did, because it was looking so splotchy, I removed some of the color with just plain water and no more ink. And so that's pretty good right there. I'd like it to be a little bit smoother, but I'm going to work with it. And I think it's going to be fine. There's some highlight areas right here, which I think it's, it's going to be lighter anyway there. And so I think it's going to be good. Okay, we got color on the skin. We got our base color. So like I said, make sure you put a lot of water. Get like a maybe like a tea looking color. That's how much water you need to add to that ink, to this. And um, I think you'll be fine. I just didn't go light enough. And so remember I told you you get splotchy if you don't go light enough. Okay, so we're going to color her. We're going to start shading and highlighting her face. And we're going to shade with this right here. This is uh, Jane Davenport's um, palette pastels. These are fabulous. Love these. Okay. They remind me of pan pastels. I haven't even ever used pan pastels, but from what I've seen, they're very expensive. You get them at art stores. They work like that. They're really super smooth and blendable. You guys have seen me use these quite a few times on different videos and I love them. I am just obsessed with them. Okay. Let me look at my brushes here. And I like to use just regular eyeshadow applicators um, to apply. Okay. So here we go. And this side is going to be... Um, A little heavier with the shading because naturally this is how it would be because of um, her hair more, more of her hair being in front of her eye right there right so you would have some heavier shading and we'll have less shading here we'll have some but just not as heavy on this side this the Sun will be hitting more on this side let me put my glasses on. Okay. And what's nice, if you get too heavy handed or it gets too thick, you can erase, which is so awesome. These things, these um, pastels erase beautifully. Like I don't want it so thick right there. So I'm taking some away and you can erase. Oh, I love it. You can erase so easily. Just a second, you guys, I might be out of frame. I'm not sure. I'm just, I had to turn that the way I needed it. I'm back in frame yep okay and the other thing I want to do get another one of these is I'm gonna take another heavier darker color right here but first let me blend this one out then we'll add that one so I'm gonna take a brush with no color on it and start blending out go over the line and then blend it out Go over the line and then blend it out. Okay. Go over this again and blend it out a little bit more. That looks pretty. And did I get too many? No, I think I like that. Oh, let's just take it a little bit less. Let's just bring that in a little bit more right there. So it's not so far out. <sighs> Perfect. All right. And so the same thing over here. I'm, I need to turn my paper. So I want to stay in frame, but. Okay. So we'll do the same thing here. And then blend it out. 
Hopefully I'm staying in frame. I'll just make sure I am. There we go. There we go. You guys, if I can, I will turn so that everything's always facing the right way towards you. If I can, I had a um, this program on my phone that uh, is a like basically flips your video around, so it looks like you're sitting like right behind me, so you can see the way I'm seeing it. And all of a sudden, it doesn't work anymore. And then I tried a couple of other ones, and it didn't work. So they're called like a flipping video where it flips your video. Anyway. So frustrating and I'm not I'm, I can do some art but I'm not good at like this video stuff so ugh, it's such a nightmare for me like when things stop working I'm like no all right now I'm gonna take this deeper brown color right there and I'm gonna give a little extra shading on this side the side where her hair is over her eye I'm gonna put a little extra dark right there by the hairline You guys, I am in love with these. Look how they blend out. They just blend out beautifully. They're flipping fabulous. Do I want to? Yeah. And we'll blend that out. I mean, when you use pencils and stuff like that, you have, or even markers, you have to, one well, of the mark, alcohol markers blend out pretty easily, but then you have to use a light, medium, dark to blend them out. These, you just take this little makeup brush and they blend right out. They're incredible. Here, I'm just going to go over it a little bit, and I think that'll just blend it. Yeah, that blended it out just perfect. On this side, I'm not going to put that darker color because we don't want it. We don't want that there. Okay. So now we need to shade um, the body. So I'm going to bring the bring it in. So you guys can see that. All right. So let's start shading the body. And then we'll bring this back here. Sorry if I'm getting quiet, you guys. I'm just focusing. And I'll probably get a little heavier handed over here, like I just did. Because the hair is it's heavier on this side than the other side. But on this body, we'll still do plenty of shading. Because it's kind of like the hair and the antlers really shade the entire body pretty good. Bring this out a little bit more. That's a little bit too much right there. There we go. Okay. We'll see how that works. Okay, so let's go ahead and blend things out. So I make sure I get rid of pretty much any of this any of this uh, pastel that's on my brush, kind of a brush with nothing on it, and go over things and just blend out. Go over everything here and blend out. Let me turn my work a little bit. Hope I'm close enough for you guys, but to get this whole body in, um, I have to um, I have to be out 
I have to kind of zoom out. But when we get back to the face, I will zoom in again. Because there's so many small t details on the face. To finish up the hair, I'm, I'm probably going to, um, I want to do that on camera, like beginning to end. So it'll probably be on the next video, the hair. Let me look and see if you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Okay. It almost doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, I got to turn her around. It almost doesn't even matter if I flip my girl because I turn her around so many different ways to get it at the right angle for me to color, for me to be, you know, painting or coloring her. I'm just adding a little bit of blending down here at the bottom. Sorry, I'm getting a little quiet. I'm just focusing for a second. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, let me look and see about this right here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. And I think, let me see if I want to add that darker color on the edge of her skin. Yeah, I think I don't. I think it's good. No, I will. Okay, I'm going to add that little bit of darker brown like I did before on her face. Not just on this other side. All right, so I'm going to take um, this dark, dark brown and go right on the edge of her skin, like right on the line. Like how, how I outlined her, like right there. Got a little heavy in a certain little spots, but it's okay. Okay, and then let's blend her. And you can decide whatever skin tone you want for your for what, whoever you're drawing or what tone you want. So there's a million tones in these beautiful pastels that I got from that I gotten from Jane Davenport. These are just the tones I want to use. this girl and I'm erasing a little bit because I went over the edge into the hair a little bit more than I wanted to and that's the beautiful thing you can just erase whenever you get out of line or you don't like what you're doing you can just simply erase it so that totally helps that like you know you're not you don't feel like like you've totally messed up you know and you can't fix it you can always fix it, but now you can really easily, easily fix it. Okay, just a second. I'm going to just add a little bit of this at the bottom here. Let's see if I like this. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing this for effect down here because this is not going to be really even seen. But I'm just doing this for effect. Okay. 
yeah, this is looking really good. Let me see if I've got any extra stuff here on her, in her hair that I don't want. Or on her clothing. Okay. That looks really, really good. Loving. Oh, I do want to throw a little bit of that dark color. Just a tiny bit. So I need to be careful. Right up in here. There we go. And we'll blend that out just a little bit. There we go. Oh, I think she looks gorgeous. I think her skin looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we might be done with these for now for the skin tone. I like to eat, as soon as I can, add the eye color in. So let's do that. And I love to use Jane Davenport's watercolors and these watercolors right well I love all of her watercolors I have all three of them we're gonna go with this one let's come in close so we can really look at do the eye where do we want to go this way there we go we can't come in that close we'll go in like here okay so um my favorite eye is a green eye I love this color right here it's called Jiminy Cricket that's what it looks like there, and that's the color we're going to use. I love green eyes. And when I have a girl that has two eyes, she only has one. Now her hair is covering up her other eye. Um, I love to do two different color eyes, like a purple eye and a green eye. I do that a lot. People always compliment and go, oh, I like how you did one purple and one green. I think I seen Jane Davenport do that a long time ago with her girls, and I'm like, oh, I like that. I don't know if it was one purple and one green. All I know is it was two different color eyes, and I'm like, I want to start doing that. So I rarely make both my color, my uh.